So I just finished watching Demon Slayer, the anime that came out in 2019 this year, and it's great, but there's just some things that I just don't like about it. What up everyone, I hope you're enjoying your day. Today I'm talking about Demon Slayer and really I have a few notes on my phone about what I didn't like about the show because I see a lot of people giving it high praise and while it's a really good anime, especially towards the end of its first season, the start of it just wasn't that great and I think letting it, being aware that the start isn't that great should hold back the show as a whole. Now what's probably some of the most annoying parts of this anime itself is the fact that there's only just, for the most part, for the first half I'll say, it's always just one episode, one demon, one episode, one demon, and you also have Tanjiro, who's the main character, um, I hope I didn't get his name mixed up with the other two, but Tanjiro, um, and he's got a really good keen sense of smell, and that's great and all, you know, it's his special ability, like how does the the ball guy who has that sense of space, um, the thunder guy who's... I'll talk about the thunder guy later, but Tanjiro, he's got this good sense of smell and everything, and he can tell when enemies are nearby or when there's like a change in the scent or whatever, and it helps him out a lot. But we don't really know how he's got such a good sense of smell, we just know he has one. Like, he lives in the mountain, sure, um, we see him do all these kind of like physical labors and whatnot, but you don't see him train in that sense, to train his nose to be so good. We don't see anyone teach him how to do that. And, you know, it's not like the show doesn't know that they need to train their characters because they do that later in the show. They actually have them training with the constant breathing. Um, and they actually show that. It's probably my favorite part of this anime. It's because they actually show the training and then working towards being such good demon slayers. But at the start of the season, Tanjiro just uses his breathing so well. He trains very hard. And yes, he does get training by the two past members of the same master who he trained with and that's good but then when he goes on to actually become a demon slayer and he kills demons he does so with relative ease it's sure it's a struggle i have obviously seen the episodes and i know it's a struggle but for someone who just became a demon slayer and i know he's been training for two years they tell us they don't show us too much of those two years but for someone who's been training it's just not enough for me. Especially when we see them train later in the season and we can see they're actually really working towards it, they're failing, they're building up towards it, they're training, and then they succeed. That's what I like to see. Instead of just seeing such a small amount of it. And I think that's one thing that the show really annoys me with, the fact that it's always telling us something. It's telling us how hurt Tanjiro is. It's really showing us how much his body is in pain because it always says, oh, he's using his breathing to control the pain. And then at one or two points, he's like, oh, my back is really hurting. Oh, my ribs are broken and I'm doing this fight and stuff. But you're still winning the fight. You know, you're struggling, but you're still winning the fight. If your ribs are broken, if your, you know, legs are broken and whatnot, like I think episode 14 or something, his ribs and legs are broken or something. He's still fighting a demon who can use those um, small drum things to like change the rooms and whatever. And, you know, why don't you show us him, show him getting defeated for a good while, so that way we know his injuries are really that bad. Because now at any point onwards, seeing this is just the first season and he was still really killing four or five demons at that point, he's just beginning and he's already able to like breathe in a sense where he can ignore the pain of his ribs and legs to fight a demon who's good enough, close enough and to be one of the 12 saviors or whatever, the 12 people who are the followers of the um, demon lord or whatever his name is. I don't know any of the names. The only one I can remember is the one demon that was actually present for, I think, three or four episodes, I believe, or at least his family was in that sense, his Rui. And that was really good because, you know, they had the whole family and that took a few episodes and that was like a proper arc and everything. But what really annoyed me was once again, they showed, they showed and told instead of just showing us, they had... Rui narrate over his history or past or whatever and they were showing it to us as well and it was just so annoying because I was seeing it and then I had someone telling me what I was seeing and you know that's fine if you want to do it every so often but you do it too often it irritates the hell out of me. And speaking of irritating oh my god the thunder swordsman dragon slayer demon slayer why did I say dragon slayer I got no idea 
But the Thunder Demon Slayer is so annoying. Like, I get it, you know, once he knocks out, it's he goes all serious and he kills people and he can only do the one form and that's funny and whatnot. But he's too irritating to be funny. Every time he's on screen and he's like making all this, oh, Nezuko, Nezuko stuff. My God, I just want to slap that kid because he's so irritating. And I don't know why like people don't hate him that much and why people don't let him drag down the show because in everything he does until the point where he becomes serious and passes out and then becomes a serious good swordsman he's so irritating and useless and you know that's great to have that stereotypical character and whatnot but it just really irritates me too much in this show and that's really all of the problems I have with the show as a whole there's nothing too specific except there might be one or two things I would have said but it's all spread out throughout most of the series and mostly in the first half as well. Towards the second half or probably even the final third of the season, it's really good. I love the whole fighting with the family of the Rui's family and whatnot. I love the training with the Harshi. Har Har training with those really good demon slayers. I can't remember how to say that word. Um, but those really good demon slayers, that was really good. Um, I really love all those high-ranking demon slayers, especially the butterfly one. Very creepy and very funny though and very entertaining. And how it ends is also a really good setup for the movie to come. So I really enjoy the show. I love the animation. I love the writing for the most part. It's not a stereotypical story per se. I thought it was going to be, oh no, his whole family dies. Now he's going to go on a quest to kill the demon lord or whatever. It's not what I got. I got him trying to save Nezuko and I think they're relationship is really good and while I believe it was episode 19 which a lot of people say is really emotional really good it was really emotional and really good I didn't come close to crying in that episode but I thought it was a really well done episode with Nezuko using hey her blood demon art and Tanjiro using that calling upon that fire or flame I can't remember which one it specifically was um sword form or whatever to fight Rui and the art for these sword forms, oh, I can't, that's probably the best part of this show, this series, is that the animation is so good. And I really love that. I can't sing enough praises about the animation in the show at all. So if you really love visual animation and visual fights, go watch the show. You'll love it. If you're more so for the story side, you're probably leaning towards the go for it side. But at some points, it can be really irritating. And that's what really holds it back for me. So... Just for this first season of Demon Slayer, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10, which is really good. And that's because the second half, the last third of the series, the season 1, saved the show. If it was going to be so much more like the first half, it'd be like a 6, you know. But here's hoping that it's like Attack on Titan for me. I didn't really like the first season until they got to the later half. And then every other season after that just was so good. So here's hoping Demon Slayer gets an improvement from season one. So let me know if you're watching Demon Slayer in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my thoughts? Did you really enjoy it or did you not like it? Are you even finished seeing it yet? Are you excited for the movie to come? Make sure you leave that in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see us.